Okay, Virgo, for some, obviously, that will manifest externally as a relationship, an opportunity for a relationship. Why the 10 in the reverse? Sometimes that's outside of a family, outside of a household, outside of a structure, an invitation to come out of the house. Space. You have all the space and freedom, free will. I'm also hearing pleasure. Subjective, though. Subjective space, all this space and free time again, more occupying yourself with positive habits and people. Why the ace of pentacle to ten of pentacle? Faded destiny, very interesting. A lot of talk about soulmates, fates, destiny. We're talking about also the full moon, uh, lunar eclipse, I believe, um, around the beginning of April. And so that might bring about faded souls and anything else with this ten pentacle, ace pentacle. Magician in the reverse speaks to fate and destiny, right? Not something that you could necessarily manifest. Stability. So this opportunity outside of your household can bring about stability is how it's reading here, spirit. Okay, eight of pentacles could definitely, is being channeled here because this... Offset by the ace is the nine in reverse. That points to the eight in the upright. You could also add it where this is the nine in the upright plus the ace. It's going to bring you to a level of, a new level of personal stability. Ten of pentacles, something that you could retire with. An opportunity gives you structural foundational stability here. Four of pentacles. So this very much feels like, and this is communication, someone investing. This very much feels like this is a time destiny thing. Okay, whereas like you pick and you select the manifestation, the wish, and then it's on the, the time track. But of course, you have to experience these endings, this feeling of outside of your hand, because spirit wants you to continue to practice these healthy habits and routines and mindsets and actions. Regardless, remember this whole thing, right? Regardless, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands in the reverse is that healthy expression. This whole thing is about, where's that money cube? Where's that Hierophant? It's about doing things here, regardless of justice, regardless of external justice. And you know that, Ace of Swords in the reverse, that's inner knowing. Because spirit wants you to begin to play at the level of, even in the face of backstab, betrayal, lack of fairness, Spirit wants you to balance the scales of justice, working from the inside out, right? By deliverance from this time money matrix cube, by the, continual, the continual evolution from the scorpion to the eagle, the snake to the dragon, the caterpillar to the butterfly. That's why we keep on seeing all of these death. Where's that death card? Because the... Juice is worth the squeeze here. You see the orange juice. You see the grape, grapes there. So when in doubt, the answer is always going to be to continuously go through these birth, death, resur resurrection cycles, knowing that you're going up, 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 up. But spirit wants you to do this, not using the external 3D money matrix as a barometer. They want you to have these values and these virtues hard-coded into your spiritual DNA structure, right? And this is what makes this a very kind of influential turning point for your bloodline, for your legacy, because then they will be strengthened by the barometer of spirit and not the barometer of man, okay? And that's real value, right? That's seeing the value of your time over money, for example, or the value of your virtue over materials. And that's what spirit is using you for. Very fucking profound. More profound than I can, you know, imagine that this Saturday was for, but whatever. All right, let's roll this on over. That, that's fucking deep for, like, ages. Literally re rewiring your reward dopamine serotonin not for yourself but for also your bloodline and your legacy crazy